What's up, I care beers, Great Blanks Channel 1 here, and welcome back to Great Blanks Survives. This is episode 21, and everything looks different. Why is that? Well, because in the last episode, I wasn't sure if I liked my universe with shaders on or not, and somebody in the comments, Chard, suggested that I use complimentary shaders reimagined, which I'm using now. And I have to say, I wasn't a big fan of complimentary before. I don't know why. I just wasn't. But now that they have complimentary reimagined, can I see myself in the water? Probably not right now. But this looks so good. I am. It's gonna take a little bit of getting used to because at night everything looks a little bright. So I made the dark blocks even darker <laughs> uh, with the settings and the shaders. But other than that, like I said, it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but I think I like it so far. If you all don't like it, we'll go back to Sildurus Vibrant Shaders, but the Nether Hub is looking so much better with these shaders on. The build doesn't absolutely get ruined with shaders on, which is great. Um, originally, they were getting rid of the glass fog effect, which they no longer do with complimentary or yeah, with complimentary reimagined, but there is still some texture issues with Optifine and whatnot. <laughs> but yeah, it's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna try and make this episode a quick one because the end of the year is coming up and I wanna get one more Creeper Plank Survives episode out there and I just want to spend it doing some odd jobs, finishing up connecting bases and whatnot. For example, I want to start off working over here. I've put this sign down and completely forgotten about it until now. Uh, we've got to build a boat port and dock with three to four small houses. Somewhere over here, I wanna have a fleet of boats leading a boat with a warden on it to an ancient city. That will be fun. I also want to get rid of that. And there's a small mushroom field or a small podzel field where I plant mushrooms and I want to get rid of it. I also want to put one of those boats, one of the big boats from over there, either leaving or coming back to this area over here. But anyway, I'm gonna get started on this and I'll update you guys whenever I got some progress done. Okay, so after a live stream on Twitch, we have gotten the docks pretty much laid out how I want them to be, as well as the small village. It looks very bland and boring right now, I know, but we're going to add some life into it and it's going to look very good, yes. During the live stream, we decided to go explore a trail ruin for the first time ever. And uh, from the first trail ruin, I was able to find all four smithing templates as well as all the pottery shards. And then in the next trail ruin, I was able to find the music disc. So that's pretty cool. But I'm gonna continue to build this area. And once I have some more significant progress, I will share with you all, so I will see you guys in a bit. It is a gloomy day here on Creeper Plank Survives, and for what reason? I have no idea. Bruh. We have completed the exterior and interiors of these homes, and even on the docks we have got some lanterns, and these are a little expensive because I figured I have a whole iron farm down there, and I'm over <laughs> it's absolutely overflowing with iron. And, you know, dwarves have plenty of access to iron, so I decided, why not? Let's go expensive. So, that's what they're looking like. I think it looks pretty good. And then the interiors of every single house is done. It's simple. It is a place for the dwarves to live. I wanted to make it nice and simple because these people are mainly working on the docks over here, building boats or uh, shipping in things and bringing them down here. But as of recently, they've had to ship out a warden. Yes, that's right. We're going to complete that storyline with the battle of Fisherton and the Dwarven Kingdom versus the warden. The warden is going to be sailing off either in that direction or that direction. I haven't quite decided yet. I think either way I'm gonna have to open up the river a little bit to allow the fleet of boats to get through to an ancient city. As of right now, it's time to start adding some movement in here and start adding illusions of life. So we're going to be adding in campfires just like over there, as well as barrels and whatnot on the docks to make it seem as if they're preparing for boats to come in. And I want somewhere maybe there to be an area, a spot where they build the boats and then send them off into the sea. It's time for me to get building and check back with the you all when I have something to show and the docks are done they're looking pretty 
good. Added a little bit of clutter. Of course, these walkways are gonna be cleared out because they just loaded the boats and they are heading out. And over here, we've got the crane with nothing on it because it just loaded a boat and they're heading out. We've got some clutter with the houses over here, like in between the houses. Got some barrels, some composters, some chests, some beehives, because I thought those looked pretty good for storage. We've also got some clothes lines with uh, blue, orange, yellow, and white banners all throughout this uh, small village up here. And I think overall, it's looking pretty good. We've got some campfires on some of the houses, bringing in just a little bit of movement to make this place really feel alive. And overall, I'm very happy with this short little project that we've made here. And now it's time to complete it by adding the boats sailing off in this direction. There are going to be five boats, two on each side of one boat with a warden on the back of it. So let's get started on that. There they go, sailing off into the night. This honestly turned out a lot better than I expected. The fleet of boats with the warden on it looks pretty good. It's just missing one thing, the warden itself. So we've got the boats from the Dwarven Kingdom over there, and we've also got the final big boat from Fisherton right here. Looking pretty good. The only thing it's missing, like I said, is the warden itself, which is gonna go in this cage right here. And of course, I'm going to name tag it, the appropriate name of which it is named in the lore of this world. And then I'm going to activate this little machine down here that will keep it occupied. I feel bad for the sailors on this boat. But yes, now it is time not to get the warden. Not yet, not yet. We've still got a little bit of more cleaning up to do. We've got to take care of that up in the sky, as well as the small podzel field over there. So allow me to do that really quickly, and then we can go get the warden. Another glorious sunrise here in Creeper Plank survives, and this area is looking a lot better without that ugly farm over there and the podzel field over here. I also cleaned up the landscape around the castle area a little bit to get rid of the janky bug rock generation as well as got rid of the pillager outpost that was way over there on top of that mountain as well as cleaned up the landscape around there a little bit got rid of the floating bits but now we are ready to transport a warden and it's not like i can just google ancient cities near me so allow me to hop into your creative test world and use slash locate because i don't feel like searching for hours so as it turns out the closest ancient city to me is the ancient city that I explored on a live stream after resetting the chunks a while back and uh it's quite a ways away so we're just gonna hop down here and gracefully fly over to our ender chest that I apparently left here we're going to scout out a shrieker that's kind of close that we could put a portal at oh but that one that one will do let's do it all right okay wasn't aware that uh Okay, you know what? Who cares? I just need to build a portal and then get the cords. Like, divide these cords by eight. A little nervous. I've never done this before. Portal is set up. This is not staying here. It's just temporary so I can get this warden in. Y'all are about to see some unplanned, inexperienced warden wrangling right here, right now. It's gonna be fun for you all, not for me. You know... Maybe I should set my spawn point somewhere nearby, just in case, you know? Hmm, yes, Schlieb. We want to get this out. Okay. Guess there really is only one thing to do. And summon it. From what I remember, it should be trying to be spawned on the highest block in like an 11 block radius, so. There it is. And we're gonna name you. Aggro, and then aggro, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. He went through. Okay, um, now that he's through, we do not also want to go through this portal. And I'll tell you why. That means death for us. Okay. We're going to go to a different portal nearby. We're going to go to spawn's portal, because I think that's the closest one to us. Here we are at spawn. We're going to run through this portal, get that warden, run back to the portal that I'm supposed to be at. I'm going to punch it in its face, tilt to mirror, and then run for my life. This is it. I just got to smack him and yeah, there he is. He, yeah. Is he still angry at me? Oh yeah, he, he's angry. He ain't. Oh lord, he coming. Oh lord, he coming. Yeah, he's a little mad. Yeah, he's just a little mad. A lot of coming. Hey, Agro, what do you think about my universe build? Isn't it cool? 
I don't think he gives a shit. Yeah, you little, you a little mad at me. That's okay. So he should be coming. Yeah, he's gonna hurt. Yep, that hurt. But he now should have gone through. So if I go through this portal and fly over to him, we should be good. Now we should just be chilling on this boat. Please just be chilling. <gasps> Dude, he's in. I didn't even have to. Let's go. Aggro's already in. Okay, I just need him to chill out. How do I do that? Uh, not a clue. Bruh. I guess I just. Mm. My usual solution to de aggroing a warden is killing them. <laughs> I killed it! But I can't do that in this situation. Can I get close? Okay, nope. <laughs> You didn't like that. Okay, I have hostile creatures all the way up now. I had it all the way down because of Enderman. But now I should be able to hear his sonic blasts. But right now all I'm hearing is an angry boy. So if I just chill over here, he should eventually calm down. I just punched homie once and that was it. He was just like, kill him. Kill him now. I just need to get in the bottom of the boat and place this down. And that'll get him to stay fixed on that. So I can, one, fix up his cage. Two, get rid of the nether portal. Pretty good for some on-the-fly warden wrangling, though. Even the fish are scared. They're like, dude, what the f did you bring over here? <laughs> okay, he's starting to calm down. Okay. All right, we're going to try. Wish me luck. <laughs> Aggro, don't mind me. in the boat, I know. Agro does not like me. I can't imagine why. Agro, calm down. It's only a game. Alright, girl. I'm gonna try to place this back in. Don't do anything rash that you are gonna regret. Okay. Good, Agro. Now all I need to do is get rid of that portal around you, and then fix up your cage. Okay. She's focused on that. Which is good news for me. Stay focused on the ding ding. Not the creeper PG. He's starting to get mad. The note blocks your enemy. I am not your enemy. Well, you can't whisper to a warden. I tried. Good night. <laughs> we'll try again in the morning. <laughs> Alright, we're chill for now. Going back in for round two. Okay, we're not chill. We're not chill. We're not chill. But I feel like I can get that. Okay. Oh, she's mad at something else now. I guess while she's mad at that, I can swoop in and get some work done. Unless she starts to aggro on me. But I should be good here for a little bit. Okay, not anymore. That aggro, we're homies. I swear, we are. No, nope. she doesn't seem to think so. <laughs> She's mad. She hates me. I feel bad for the sailors on those boats. She's relentless. Hey yo, you fish, be careful. Don't get near that. <laughs> how's the heart? How's her heartbeat doing? Still fast, still furious, sir. I've got much bigger fish to fry about right over there. You are the least of my concern. <laughs> Okay, while well, she's somewhat calm. Hello, don't mind me. Please don't mind me. I'm here to do your taxes. 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 Please don't commit tax evasion. Come on, aggro. It's just the one. It's just the one. It's just the one. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. We're good. Aggro, we're good. We're, do we're done. Why did I start ta saying I'm paying for aggro's taxes? She 100% commits tax evasion. Ain't no way that that warden is paying taxes. The IRS is out to get her, and she ain't having it. That's the only way she's that powerful. She's defeated the IRS. Some on-the-fly warden wrangling, and we did not even have to use one totem. That's crazy. Aggro's just in there forever now. Forever being annoyed, being annoyed by the sea life. And me. I am a problem for her. But yep, 
She's been being transported for a reason. She is too dangerous. That's that's so cool, honestly. <laughs> Try it. Try it, Agro. I'm free. <laughs> I'm up here while you're down there. You stupid, stupid warden. Okay, I made her mad again. All right, it's time to get out of this. Man, oh man. Shut up, sheep. That's cool. What? Bro! <laughs> Shut your mouth! It looks so good. I mean, it looks even better with the warden in there now. Oh, Agro, you're very loud. I think... I wrangled this warden pretty well. I think Tango Tech himself would be proud. <laughs> I have never done that before. That's crazy. Agro, I have a little figure. We're homies in real life. Do you know that? She refuses to accept. I just want to be friends with her, man. I don't know what we're going to do now. This was pretty much the plan for the episode. It was those boats and Agro, who is still very <laughs> at me for punching her in the face, which honestly, valid. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention this. This is going out on Christmas, so Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays to everybody watching this. For me, it's December 12th. My Christmas present to you all is another Creeper Plank Survives episode. One last one for the year. And finishing up a storyline and wrangling a warden. Hi, Agro. Oh. If you're unaware of the story that this place holds, it's a lot and I'm not going to read it all out. Out to you but I can open the book to let you all pause it and read it if you want to so let me just sum it up for you all basically Fisherton parted from the kingdom that's in front of Fisherton then the warden started to cause some trouble in the dwarven kingdom started to kill a lot of dwarves and it was starting to becoming such a problem that the town of Fisherton had to go and help push the skulk back uh, into a small corner Eventually, the skulk infested the ground and surged upwards towards the kingdom that they se that Fisherton separated from and left no survivors. Eventually, they did defeat the warden and pushed it back into its den. And then the dwarves fought a dragon named Agor, and its spirit went on to be absorbed by the warden, naming it Agro. And it became even stronger and was an even bigger problem for the two kingdoms and eventually they discovered redstone and realized that you can subdue the warden with a note block and a observer clock and therefore are sending it away to the ancient city of i forgot the name because i haven't read that book in a long time but yeah that's basically the story of it there's a lot of lore to these little three areas. I'm trying to build up a world with a lot of story, and I was sitting here thinking to myself, honestly, at this point, I could write a whole book based off of just <laughs> the lore that we already have in the world. Man, this looks so cool. Don't you agree, Ag Agra? Yeah. You're so cute. All right. I think it's time for me to go. <laughs> I can't help it. The warden's like my second favorite mob. First is, do I even need to say it? That guy. Yeah, him. It looks so good at night. Even the expansion of the Dwarven Kingdom looks good at night. I'll of course have the designs for the boats in the link in the description down below because they're the same boats that I used over there. By the way, if you think the story with Agro is done, you're sorely mistaken. There is so much in this world that revolves around Agro, it's insane. This is just the beginning of Agro's story. Soon we'll be going into even more detail of a new character I've been working on who uh, lives in an ancient city and is trying to build a ward and army and wants Agro at the lead. But on that bombshell, I'm gonna have to end this episode for now. Bruh. Thank you all very much for watching this video. If you did like the video, be sure to leave a like if you want to, subscribe to the channel if you're not already want to, and creep likes gonna one. We'll see you in the next video and the next year. Bye-bye. Look at her over there. She's so angry. Good.